Good morning guys, welcome to this video and in this video we share with you our pregnancy and birth story. We are Tino and Angela and fell in love in 2004. We married 10 years ago and 3 years ago we stopped with our structured life and changed it into a free and location independent lifestyle. Last year was all about a pregnancy and birth story with unique and special memories in different places and countries. Time to share with you a pregnancy and birth story. Dear followers, hello world. This is Filou, our little mini nomad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the end of the video we have something special for you. Keep watching until the end and you get something personal from us. And did you know you can also follow us on Instagram at Dutch Nomad Couple. We travel full time and in 2018 we started our trip in Argentina. And there we realized we were expecting our first baby. Was it because of the tango or just the Latin vibes? Nevertheless, here starts our pregnancy story. This is Buenos Aires. Argentina, very passionate country, beautiful pampas with the gauchos, we had a great experience over there. Yeah. Uh, but also yeah. Mendoza, the wine, uh, the Malbec wine, as for me, I couldn't drink any wine. <laughs> unfortunately. Because, unfortunately, <laughs> but it was for a good reason. Why are you eating so healthy? That's because I'm pregnant. <laughs> and from now you can see a little bit. <laughs> you want to go back oh. there? <laughs> yeah, she's tired. <laughs> she's sleeping. She's sleeping. And after that we crossed the Andes towards Chile. To and Santiago. Yeah. Beautiful city too. And there we had the first ultrasound. We wait for Dr. Alejandro. <laughs> Cheers! Everything is okay. Good heartbeat. And it was like dancing already. So and I felt very strong and the pregnancy went very well. And so we thought we go to the very south of Chile. To the to, end of the world. To the end of the world. <laughs> to uh, Patagonia. Yes, also because I'm pregnant now for 12 weeks. That's a big announcement. Yeah. Well, Chilu was with us already. She traveled uh, to the end of the world with us. Yeah, she already <laughs> saw many countries. Because after Patagonia, we went back to Santiago. We are going for the second ultrasound. A little bit emotional already, so I'm. I think really I have to cry if I see you, see the baby. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great afternoon, guys. Wow. So it looks like no need to do any further tests. Yeah. Most happy. Most happy. Couple you couple can imagine. You can imagine. 
What do we have to <laughs> celebrate? That everything is okay. The baby uh, is now for 14 weeks in my belly. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's amazing. But then we... Uh, had the opportunity to go to uh, Europe, to Italy. Yay, up to Palermo. Palermo. <laughs> Italy, here we come. So sweet. Yeah, show to the world. It's magical. Wonder. Just the Italian life, the experience is great. Get the queue in the car, going to the beach. So I have to put it like this, then like that, because of my belly and baby. Beside you in this moment, there's a future ahead of me. We're so tired. Yes, but that's... Yeah, something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I wish the time could stand. I wish the sun never goes down. I think we fit well in the Italian culture. Because yeah. of the coffees. The coffees and the good looking people. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> I thought you would say the food, but uh, the yeah, food, yeah, the also the pastas and the ice cream. And after a month in Sicily, we also visited Puglia. It's the heel of Italy. We stayed in beautiful B&B in uh, Lecce. And I also liked the Trulli house where we stayed for yeah, one week. Absolutely. It was really quiet. We're in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. <laughs> Back in the Netherlands. If you are pregnant, you want to be with uh, your family and especially my mother. So we surprised her big time. Our final trip, it was week. 35, I think. Yeah, week 35 of the pregnancy. pregnancy. We went to Morocco. It's like an oasis in the middle of nowhere. So your water is broken. Yes, it's uh, 3 o'clock in the night, 24th of October, and it's uh, baby will be born. Soon. It's really exciting, very it's soon. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Last preparation. Now we have to wait for six, six until... hours. Yeah. And then it will start. Wow. So the delivery started and it hold on for like 23 hours, so it was really heavy. On October 25th, Philou was born. The time was 9.51 p.m. Now that was the most beautiful.
wonderful moment of our lives. For sure. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. And I was shouting, oh, it's a girl, it's a girl, because we didn't know. Say it out loud for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Suddenly you are with a three. Yeah. yeah a family of three. Yeah. So, yeah. Very special. Yeah. As promised at the beginning of this video, we have something special for you. If you go to the link below this video, you can download the birth announcement card of Filou. It's the same card we send to family and closest friends, so that's why we like to share it with you. This card is uh, designed by Kikker & Prins, design studio in the Netherlands. You will find also a link to her website below this video. The past few months we took the time to enjoy Filou and it was a really intense period and now it's time to uh, spread our wings again and start our third year as um, a full-time travel couple or family. family. Yeah. <laughs> Next week you will see our first trip we make with uh, Filou as a travel couple with a baby. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell and uh, that way you make sure you get a notification the moment we upload a new video and you follow the steps of Fidu. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. We want to thank everyone for the warm wishes. It's really heartwarming. Uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment below this video. We make sure we respond as soon as possible. And for now, enjoy your day, follow your dreams and we see you next week. Yes! Bye! Bye.